Yo, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Flaws Blocking. Flaws Block is definitely the best way to defend an MK11, even though it's not accessible in, in every situation. Like, for example, you're at a huge frame disadvantage and they attack you, but because there isn't a big enough gap to allow the Flaws Block to, to activate, you just get regular block or you probably just get hit. But for the most part, when you're neutral or you're at disadvantage, but you can still you're like minus five or something you can still flawless block because there's enough frames for it there isn't a move in the game that is f as fast as five frames at least as like a, a regular attack so you can still flawless block in, in, in certain times as long as you're still able to move so you can use to negate projectile damage so you have to worry about getting zoned all day and you're like all right well you can zone me if you want to, it's not doing it as much for a period or anything, really. Because normally it does, what, 1875 and there's 188 uh, when it's flaws blocked. Also, up close, or actually when you're dealing with strings, is another situation. Like, say you're fighting Baraka, and he does this string right here. This string is plus on block. But if you flaws block it, you can punish him. Or, or attack because you get your turn back because the uh, frame advantage goes away or it's not as much advantage see normally he'll be a plus one he's plus four when you flaws block and if you have meter you can punish him the flaws block up two or flaws block up three so th that's one really good situation also uh when your opponent is trying to take the turn back like say you fight a gears player and they do uh four two one two and block flaws block up to you right that's what happened so that's really good you can get your turn back and every character can do that every character can set that up but some characters are better up twos or better up threes than other ones um and also, unfortunately, some characters don't have ways to, to stop the flaws block up too, but I found ways with, with a couple characters, a couple of my mains and stuff, which is cool. I'll probably go through most of the cast and find ways to at least stop flaws block on the ground up close. So it, it's more of a mind game of, huh, am I going to try a flaws block here or just regular block here? Because some of the moves are unsafe or they might be safe. Um, flaws block also works in neutral, like say you're... Uh, just you know playing footsies and you're trying to get something and you poke and they flaws block up to you in the right timing and you get punished but it's it's a lot harder to do that than the normal because it, there isn't like a timing that's set up like say you block the down you block something and they down one you know and expect that the down one's coming out because that's the only way you can get their advantage well also you can throw off their timing by using a move that is like slightly slower than that window or, or slightly faster than a window or something. So, say you do down one, and they counter poke with a down four, which is slower than a down one, so the flaws block won't come out. And because you might, I don't know, you may not even be holding block anymore, or you might have blocked, but still it w doesn't come out, and they can, you know, the, it, the mind game either resets or something happens, and then it leads to another situation in the game. Also, um, versus flaws, no, I'm sorry, versus fatal blow, because a lot of fatal blows have like hella pushback. You see that? All that pushback? How are you going to punish this character? You block that from right there and push it back. But you can't. You got the flaws block, which allows you to come in and get a punish. And I'm not saying you can do that every time. You just want to have to be looking for it. But I think you can react to the flash or try to react to the flash if you know it's coming and punish him. That's another way to use the flaws block. Also, you can use it versus jump ins. So, oh, I'm trying to set this up. Sorry. All right, there we go. So, for people who hate jump ins, you can flaws block to jump in and up to it. And they can't do anything about it. Only time to where you can't is they do it really late to the ground. And they block. That's the only way. But you can also do a delay jump in to your string and beat out the up two. But your delay jump in will lose to regular jump ins because it's a slower jump in. So keep that in mind. 
and obviously if you don't have meter because you you did a breakaway and because you didn't want to eat the damage well you no longer have access to the flaws block up to you you have to take that so you have to take the, the mix up that comes up afterwards but you don't have to meet her after you break away obviously but um antires do work down twos and and, and stand one, whatever you have to hit people out the air does work versus jump ins you just depending on the scenario and your frame disadvantage or if you're in neutral you have to use different antires in different situations like versus cross up down two is really good versus cross up and so are some stand ones and stuff depending on the heart box or hit box or whatever but you have to do it on a read you ask and what i'm telling you is like online it's a lot harder depending on the frame disadvantage like you're playing in 100 ping which most of the matches i've seen in mk11 are include mine it's hard to do that because you have like a whole like maybe half second of delay or whatever for that and but offline it's a lot easier to challenge when you're supposed to and when you can because the game runs at a full 60 frames per second but uh also i want to show off uh, a nice option with barack here that beats out the flaws block up too so as we know gears is the best one because it's six frames but chop chop beats it out so they are forced to do the the one that's like but i think what do you do it from a distance yeah you do it from a distance it doesn't you get punished or you do something like down four to it that's real good or like a distance down three maybe yeah see it's really good but there are ways to blow up flaws block as long as you you know you know and you condition your opponent which is great i mean it shouldn't be automated Fighting games are about conditioning, and I have absolutely no problem with that. I love the way that this game plays. Um, hopefully, you guys will get some games in or, or watch me play on my stream, twitch.tv slash perfectlegend. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, I inspire more people to play with this. I want to see more people at Locals, even at my own Locals as well for this game. Uh, but thanks for watching, and peace. See you in the next video.